We landed at Incheon on the 15th of September. We had an unopposed landing. The coxswain couldn't get the boat all the way in the beach, so we had to jump off into the water, which was about chest deep for somebody like me. And all I remember, it was really cold. Frostbite was our biggest enemy. Your first your feet get cold, and then they get numb, and then it becomes hard to walk. By this time, they had issued us, you know, we'd have about seven layers of clothing on, you know. I had a skibby shirt and a wool shirt. Then my utility shirt, the dungarees as the Marines call them, an apaca vest, my field jacket, and over that was a pile line parka, which made it hard to move, but you know, it was a blessing. And we had these hats with the ear flaps on them, like, like the S you see in the Russians, I guess, had them. It was hard to keep your hands uh, warm, and you had to work at it. And your feet, of course, well, we had Arctic boots. Now, that cold weather had some, if you want to call it the good side of it, uh, kept a lot of men from bleeding to death because the blood clotted real fast. It's another thing you got to say about Corman and the medical people. They were, they were heroes. Under all that fire and all that garbage was going on around them, they were able to you know, take care of the wounded, but they couldn't put them in a tent. They left outside and swapped them around, brought all their wounded out, and they evacuated along with the division of 100,000 civilians that were fleeing from the communists.